The Corona is sailing between uh, Fredericia and uh, Copenhagen, Klaipeda. And this week and next week she has a one-off trip to Karlsam en route to Klaipeda. We had, um, she has been here for about five years and we expect that she will sail here also for the next four or five years. The sister vessel Hafnir was uh, optimized for the route uh, Cuxhaven, Immingham, where she sailed for several years. But then due to a ship which was bought by the US Navy, she suddenly had to go to Blarding and Immingham, which means that she is now sailing on a route doing 20 knots and not the 16 knots. DFDS Seaways decided to have their charter vessels Hafnir Seaways and Corona Seaways economy upgraded at their last docking and class survey. The retrofit and upgrade packages tailored to the vessels are comprised of propeller blades of the high-efficient Kappel design, propeller fairing cone to be fitted to the propeller hub, a rudder bulb to be fitted to the existing rudder, VFD a variable frequency drive for shaft alternator operation and alphatronic load curve upgrading for variable frequency. Here we follow the retrofit and upgrade job for Hafnir Seaways performed in Sweden. All in all, a fuel-saving solution finalized during the vessel's planned five-year docking. Hafnir Seaways and Corona Seaways are 187-meter row-row vessels, each with a gross tonnage of 26,654 tons, and installed propulsion power of 2 by 9,600 kilowatts. The twin screw propulsion package for each vessel consists of two MAN 8L4860B main engines, two rank gearboxes, two MAN Alpha CP propellers, and a twin Alphatronic propulsion control system. The starboard propeller is shown with the original blades as the water level in the dry dock is reduced. As soon as the vessel is docked in, the propeller dismantling and exchange operation goes ahead. The dismantling sequence underway is removal of the rope guard, removal of the zinc anode and the propeller blades. The flow optimizing rudder bulb has been prepared as an easy to install kit with a tailor-made frame for the rudder and rudder bulb cover plating. The port side rudder bulb is welded onto the existing rudder. Special pin bolts for the fairing cone are fitted to the propeller hub. And as the next step, the fairing cone is mounted. The alignment of the starboard rudder bulb and the fairing cone is checked. The major parts for the variable frequency drive system have been prepared in due time and installed prior to the docking. The additional frequency converter and transformer equipment is located in the auxiliary engine room. The power cables are fitted and connected to the main bus bar. In the engine control room, the wiring for the power management system is finalized. 
And finally, as a last electronic item, the Alphatronic 2000 propulsion control system was upgraded with new load curve software for variable frequency operation. As a result, the original fixed propeller speed shaft alternator mode is replaced by the variable speed mode, which increases the propulsion efficiency and reduces the propulsion power needed at part load. The next step is the finalization of the propeller upgrade. The new high-efficient Kappel propeller blades have arrived and are taken to the bottom of the dock. The contact surfaces of the Kappel blades are cleaned and prepared for installation. The propeller blade seals fitted consist of a compression ring and a slide ring. The Kappel propeller blades are then mounted one by one. Bingo. And the final inspection of the propeller and rudder bulb installation is performed before Hafnia Seaways is docked out. So how are the ships now to manage and operate? Actually better than believed because we were a little scared of optimizing them to 16 because if we suddenly need the 20 knots. But we found out that they still do the 20 knots. So basically we get the saving at 16 knots and it doesn't hurt us at 20 knots. So the last was a surprise. We have a saving of around 15 to 20 kilos per nautical mile which is nice when you sail uh, 1,400 miles a week. On the Hafnia, we don't have the saving right now, but we are on the other hand not being penalized by doing the higher speed, which we actually believed. It has fulfilled the expectations until now, and, uh, and now we are going on with the next two ships this year, so we're looking forward to more saved oil. An attractive retrofit and upgrade package. A fuel saving solution, adding more operational flexibility to the vessels. Prepared up to the planned docking, resulting in no additional off hire. Short payback time with financial and environmental benefits. With full deployment of this upgrade package, fuel savings available amount to 15 to 22% corresponding to up to approximately 9 tonnes per day. <laughs>